Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we are going to create this Harley Quinn look or maybe I should call it Curly Quinn. This was such a fun little Halloween thing to do and the best part about it is that beginners and experts can do this look. I am not a makeup artist but luckily this look is like a messy non really good blended look and I could totally do messy. To do this makeup look, I'm going to be using pretty much all of these brushes right here. These are all of my Vanity Planet brushes that come in this little makeup kit. And the best part about it is when you're done, you can just roll it on up. Perfect for traveling. You snap it on. There you go. All of your brushes. If you want to buy your own kit of makeup brushes, you can get one just like this on VanityPlanet.com. It's going to say $100, which is way too much, but with my promo code, it brings it down to 70% off, making it only $30. If you want to get your own little set of brushes, you can go ahead and do so. I'll put that below in the description box. Let's get started. Let me show you how I made this Harley Quinn look. And for those of you wondering, I am wearing the Daddy's Little Monster shirt. I was going to do a whole like DIY and try to make one, but then I went to JCPenney and saw the exact shirt for only $12 and it would have cost me more to probably try to make it. Go to JCPenney, it's on sale. So starting off on a clean face, absolutely no makeup. Talk about a scary Halloween costume. I'm going to first prep my lips. This is by Baby Lips. It looks green, but it goes on clear at the 99 cent store. So don't sleep on it just because it looks kind of Halloween-y. And then I'm going to prep my face with this Scandinavia primer. This is gonna keep all the makeup intact. I'm gonna be applying my foundation as I usually do with a beauty blender and the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro foundation. I lied. We have to color correct first because these dark circles need to go. So now I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is a great like dupe for the one by MAC, which is like $30 and this is like three. I have my beauty blender and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is my favorite drugstore foundation, great for oily skin. My Infallible is in the color Classic Tan. Now, although the orange color corrector did really do a good job at covering my dark circles, I want them even more gone. So I'm going to grab this brush right here in my Vanity Planet little booklet. And I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And let's say bye bye to those under eyes. Now I'm gonna get a little more highlight just to be a little extra. And this is the Naked Skin Urban Decay. Oh, I actually meant to prime my eyelids before I did anything. I'm going to try this for the first time. This is the NYX Multitasker Mixing Medium. So this is going to be a good primer for all the eyeshadow we are about to put on for this look. So I'm just gonna apply it now, even though I should have done it beforehand. So don't be like me. Now that I set my base and all my foundation is kind of set, I'm going to give it some dimension by adding some contour. This is the new e.l.f. contour palette. This is their deep palette, which is actually pretty awesome. And I think it was like six bucks, like something really, really cheap. So I like to use a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this, and I kind of just mix them up because I'm a little weird. And I'm going to contour these cheeks. Now 
Now before I set anything, I think I'm gonna move on to my eyes, which is going to be the fun part. Now I am not a makeup artist. I'm actually an amateur when it comes to the whole eyeshadow game, but I've seen so many different looks on Harley Quinn where people do it like really perfectly and it's like a glam Harley Quinn. I've also seen the most messiest done Harley Quinn and it still came out good because she's like disheveled. So if this comes out horrible, I think it'll still look amazing. That's what we're going for. Once again, all the brushes I'm going to be using are from this Vanity Planet Makeup Brush Collection. This is such a great makeup brush collection to have, especially if you're just starting off and you don't wanna spend all that money trying to get every makeup brush that you see in YouTube tutorials. I'm going to start off with a black base to make my colors a little bit more darker and creepy. So I'm gonna get this black from MAC and we're going to apply this all over the lid. get the red this is going to be my red side the right side this is by kiss New York professional I think it's also Ruby kisses looks a different kind of kiss I don't really know now that I've packed on the red I'm going to get a fluffy blending brush like so and kind of blend this out and it's okay if it's kind of messy because that's kind of what we're going for and then I'm also going to bring it out a little because why not it's Halloween I'm going to go back with my first red brush and I'm going to add some underneath and now I want to add on the blue so for the blue side, I'm also going to grab this color called Electric Eel by MAC and do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and add some more blue underneath my lash line. Now to give it some more dimension, I'm going to add some black. So I'm going to grab this brush right here and I'm going to get my black once again and kind of just add it in my little cut crease area. Now I'm gonna get my favorite eyeliner by Milani. This is their liquid eye uh, in black. And I'm going to line my water lash. Water lash, what's that? Water line. Then I'm gonna go back with this one and smudge it out. The fun part is where we get a little more messy and we're gonna add some lines. I'm gonna grab my blending brush and just kinda drizzle those down. Now that I look at it, I probably should have set my under eye with my Laura Mercier. I was too cheap to buy the big one, but they have a little sample size. So I'm just gonna do that now. See, now I'm messing up all the work I just did. Should have done this before. Now going back to my face, I'm going to get the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 330 Toffee. And I'm going to grab another brush out of my Vanity Planet little palette and we're just going to set the rest of my face. And to contour, I'm gonna get another e.l.f. palette. This is their bronzer palette. 
comes in four browns like this. This is their deep bronzer. And I'm going to get another brush out of this kit, this little angled brush, and I'm going to contour. Contour the cheeks with a mix of these two. And I'll grab this large fluffy one and kind of just blend it out. Now I'm gonna grab the blush that I always use, Raisin by MAC. I know how many MAC products I actually have. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Milani Eyebrow Pencil. It has a little fluffy thing on one side so I could shape them like so. And then it has a twistable top on this side. Is there a color? Dark brown. To top off the eyes, we need some lashes. These are by Sejour Essentials. These are called Rosaline. And then to make these lashes blend in a little bit, I'm going to add the Voluminous Feline. Okay, brows, lashes, eyeshadow, blush, contour, highlight. Luckily this whole makeup kit also has a fan brush so we can highlight. I kind of want to do something a little bit more white since we are a clown. With this Morphe palette, this is their 35F palette. And I'm going to kind of just graze over this top color right here. And most importantly, the lips. We need a red lip. So I'm going to line my lips with this Kiss New York Professional Red Intense Lip Liner in bright red. Then I'm gonna grab the Ruby Kisses Red Matte Lipstick. This is called Kiss Red. Harley Quinn also gets a little smudged up by the end of the movie, so we're going to just smear this out with our fingers. Now let's draw on some tattoos. She has a heart right here and the word rotten right here. I'm gonna use the Ultra Skinny Eye Marker in Black by Crown. Okay, now I wanna write the word rotten. Now I don't wanna have a Mean Girls moment where I like do it backwards, so do I do opposite of the mirror? <sighs> we gonna see. I think I did it too big. I'm gonna do it again. So here is my Harley Quinn face. This is the completed makeup look. And now we're gonna do the hair. Back to something that I'm actually really good at. We're going to do pigtails, so we're going to create a middle part. All right, so I'm gonna put this one side away for now. Now I'm gonna grab my brush, and we're going to pull it back. And then we're gonna put this in a ponytail. There's one side. Now the other. Now I'm gonna grab my edge control brush, which is just an old toothbrush that now controls my edges. And I'm actually gonna try this Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control. And now we're going to lay down these edges. Works good. But we're 
not done yet. First of all, we're gonna make these a little bit bigger. It's better. And now we're gonna spray them. So I have two different types of hairspray. They're both by Jerome Russell. This one is Be Wild. This one says temporary hair color. I think it's the same thing, but new packaging for different colors. They didn't have two of the same type of bottle. But I would recommend doing this outside. Since I'm filming, I'm gonna do it inside and probably ruin everything around me. I'm so scared I'm about to make a mess. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Ha <laughs> that is awesome. All right, there's one side. I kinda wanna do more, but I'm gonna stop. All right, didn't really make a mess. Chair's not red. Okay, now let's do the other side. Don't make a mess, don't make a mess. Oh, right in my ear. Come on, blue. Hmm. Oh, I see it now. I need more blue. If I was blonde, it would be a lot easier. Boom! Look at that. So cool. So there's my completed Harley Quinn look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so please push that button. I post new videos every Sunday, so I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today and happy Halloween.